This video is for educational and information purposes only. Mutual funds and stocks talked in this video are purely used as examples. This video is not meant for advice or recommendation purpose. Hi guys, I am CA Simran Surana from Alice Blue and in today's video we are going to be discussing the top ETFs that is exchange traded funds of our country. So do watch the entire video. In case if you are new to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon to get updates of the upcoming video. Now before we jump into the top 10 ETFs of India, we need to first understand what is the concept of ETF and how they function. ETFs are exchange traded funds, type of pool investment security which operates mostly like mutual funds. So they track a particular theme, index, commodity, sector etc. just like how mutual funds do. So then why do we have two different products if they both operate the similar way? Why do we have both mutual funds and ETFs? So the main reason or the main difference between ETFs and mutual fund is that trading in ETFs is just like trading in stocks. Now if you are buying a unit of mutual fund, then it will happen only at the end of the day at the closing price of the fund. But in case of ETFs, you can have intraday transaction, you can even short sell with the units of ETF. So this is the main difference between ETF and mutual funds. So now let's discuss top 10 ETFs based on just one parameter that is one year return. The first ETF is Mire Asset NYSE FANG Plus ETF. Now this fund or scheme tracks the performance of NYSE FANG Plus index which includes technology and internet related companies like Amazon, Facebook, Google and Netflix. Now this provides an opportunity to the investor to invest in such influential company. Their close price is 69.1 and their one year return is 53.17%. The second ETF is Nippon India ETF PSU Bank Beats. Now this fund tracks the performance of public sector banks of our country. This provides an opportunity to the investor to invest in banking sector and also provides a diversification option to the investor. The close price is 56 rupees and their one year return is 50.28%. The third ETF is Kotak PSU Bank ETF. Now this fund tries to replicate the performance of Nifty PSU Bank Index. Now this provides an opportunity to the investor to invest in PSU banks listed on NSC and also help them in participate in the banking sector movement. The close price is 506 rupees and their one year return is 49.70%. The fourth fund is Nippon India Silver ETF. Now objective of this scheme of fund is to generate return which are in line with the performance of physical silver. The close price is 74.3 rupees and their one year return is 40.71%. The fifth ETF is Aditya Birla Sun Life Silver ETF. Now this fund invests in physical silver based on the prescribed quality and standard and they generate return which are in line with the performance of physical silver. The close price is 76.90 and their one year return is 40.01%. The sixth ETF is ICICI Prudential Silver ETF. Now this is an open-ended scheme tracking or replicating the performance of domestic prices of silver. The close price is 76.28 rupees per unit and their one year return is 39.71%. The seventh fund is DSP Silver ETF. Now this scheme invests in physical silver and silver instruments which also represents a modern way to invest in silver. The close price is 74.14 rupees per unit and their one year return is 37.96%. The eighth ETF is Bharat 22 ETF. Now this fund mandates an investment of at least 80% in large cap stocks and it replicates the performance of a particular chosen index fund. The close price is 79.05 and their one year return is 35.18%. Ninth ETF is CPSC ETF which is nothing but Central Public Sector Enterprise ETF. As the name suggests this scheme invests in public sector undertakings which is owned by the Indian government. The closing price is 57.81 
rupees per unit and their one year return is 34.45 percentage the last etf for today's discussion is kotak midcap 50 etf now this fund or scheme tries to replicate the composition of nifty mid cap 50 and generate returns based on the performance of nifty the close price is 113.98 rupees per unit and their one year return is 31 percentage so that is all about etfs based on one year returns in case if you have any questions or queries please do mention them in the comment section below thank you for your support and i will see you in the next video until then stay safe stay healthy bye investments in securities markets are subject to market risk read all the related documents carefully before investing